So hello guys, um, the last part we end up here and I really think that the guy who did this exercise book missed <laughs> a title over here, okay, because this is a new exercise, it's different from this one. So let's do it. This is actually the last one exercise, <laughs> at least I guess, this is the last one. Okay, so let's select the shell structure, go to view menu and the projection ZX. Okay, I'm going to ZX over here. Very good. I'm going to select the polyline contour icon over here. I'm going to select the line and I want to define two lines in the graphical viewer. Line 1 to have a beginning minus 10, 0, 0. I'm just pressing the coordinates. I think it's better to, instead of finding the points. If I had some points to, to reference to, but I don't have, I think this is the best way to do that. And line 2, the end will be minus 10, 0, and 10. Apply. And now another line, which will be minus 15, 0, 0. And over here, minus 15, 0, 5. Okay, there you got two lines. Very good. I'm going to close that. I'm going to geometry, objects, arc, center, begin, end. It's the first one actually, and it's different from what we did previously. The final following two arcs in the graphical viewer. Arc 1, I want with the radius of 5. Arc 1 will be the radius of 5, and the center will be the point minus 10, 0, 5. And this point will be minus 0, 5. And the end will be minus 10. 0 and 10. I'm going to apply that. And now I'm going to define the arc 2, which will have a radius of 10. It will have a center of 0, 0, 10, then minus 10, 0, 10, and over here, 0, 0, 20. Apply. Okay, very good. It's taking shape, as you may see. I'm going to close this and I'm going to revolve that. Control all. I'm going to select all the geometric objects. I'm also closing the object inspector. I'm going to geometry menu, objects, revolve. To define the rotation parameters, the beginning will be 0, 0, 10, and the end will be 0, 0, 20. Okay, I want a full rotation of 360 degrees with the number of divisions being 36. I'm going to apply, I'm going to say yes. Now I'm going to close and now I'm going to view menu, projection 3D or press the little word house here and there you go. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to assign a thickness of 30 centimeters to all the panels. I'm going to close that. Venue display, and I want to see the panel thickness option turned on over here. Apply. Okay, very good. And now I'm going to select the supports. I want a linear support, which will be fixed. Okay. And I'm going to select the bottom circle in the structure. I think I can select that graphically. I guess it's this one here. And also this one here. Apply. Okay, there we go. I think we got that, huh? Let me close. I'm going to analysis menu. Meshing, meshing options. I'll perform this in all. I want the DNA options turned on. The element size will be one meter. And I'm going to the generation of computation modeling. And there you have this beautiful model here in robot structural analysis. Okay, you may see that as a 
wireframe. As you may see, it's pretty cool, I guess. It's pretty cool, and as you may see, you can do great stuff in robot structural analysis regarding regarding finite elements okay so thank you very much the next exercise will be exercise number 11 which is in my opinion the best exercise the biggest and this the one that has most value so i hope you guys see the movies on the videos on exercise number 11 it will have a lot of parts i guess i'm going to explain everything in a deep manner so thank you very much and uh, don't forget to subscribe and give my videos a like it will help me okay thank you very much